go. So today we're having a look at the yellow cedar, uh, Chamisiparis nucatensis, also known as Xanthocyparis nucatensis. So the yellow cedar is again another species you find in the subalpine. It's got a beautiful drooping habit that you'll notice the branches um, come out not too far from the tree. Again, it's got a narrow crown, but the actual needles themselves hang quite um, low, kind of like curtains off of the branches. So that's quite distinctive compared to say the yellow, or excuse me, the red cedar, where the branches kind of come out in a, a J shape and the, the needles are much more flatter. They don't have that drooping characteristic. If you have a close look at some of the branches, you might actually be able to see the cones. So there'll be the little yellow dots are the pollen cones and the round balls are the uh, female cones where the seed will come out. So you might be able to notice that. They're quite different than a, um, the cones you'll find on a red cedar tree, which look more like little brown tulips. The bark is also very distinctive. It's a like, quite gray colored peeling bark. You can dis uh, distinguish it from quite a distance even when you're in the forest because the silvery color is just so distinctive. And um, compared to say the, yellow, uh, the red cedar which has a more kind of reddish colored bark. You can also have a closer look at the needles themselves. So they're scale like, which is typical of the cedar. And if you pet them backwards, they're a little bit pokey. I find them more pokey than, say, the red cedar. The smell is also very distinctive between the two cedars, so if you crush and smell a piece of it, you might be able to tell them apart based on the smell. But I just find they, the needles tend to hang more droopily than the red cedar does. So those are some ways you can tell yellow cedar apart from red cedar. Chamisiparis nucatensis, also known as Xanthocyparis nucatensis.